Hi. Hello. Hello, all you, all you lovely people out there. It is a beautiful day. Sun is shining. Temperature is seven thousand degrees Celsius, and we're having a good time on the surface of the sun. Can you convert that to Kelvin for me, please? Uh, um, whatever it is, it is Kelvin add two seventy three. Three Kelvin. Three Kelvin. Oh! Kelvin that's that's pretty hot, dude. Yeah. All right then. Well, okay. <laughs> he's found as an well, okay. attractive fellow, right? Even though he's, because <laughs> he's kind of got the silver fox, right? Maybe Calvin I Klein. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I've, if anybody, I've if anybody seen. in the Fairly Odd Parents universe was going to be a Calvin Klein model, who would it be, and why is it Dinkleberg? Dinkleberg. Why would Dinkleberg be the Calvin Klein model? I don't know, Nick. You're the one that's coming with these stupid questions. Why don't you answer it yourself? You know what, Mike? I try to throw in a fun question or so to make your play playing enjoyment a little bit better, but no. No, uh, I don't need to hear oh, this Does it have shite. to be from Fairly Odd Parents, or can it be yes. a Nickelodeon? We'll do Fairly Odd Parents first, and then we'll expand it to the whole Nickelodeon universe. Damn it, because I, I, I have a solid one for just Nickelodeon. But it's been so long since I've watched Fairly Odd Parents. I blanking on names just at all. Travis, go ahead and do it. Don't listen to Nick's dumb rules. Okay. Okay, well here, Travis, Merman. I'll give you some examples of ones. Who? Merman from Spongebob. That's a good okay, one. Okay, Merman would be pretty good. I was gonna say, what, well, who would you think between Dinkelberg, Doug Dimmodome, Mr. Crocker, or Jorgen Von Strangle? I forgot the question. Uh, who, who would make the best Calvin Klein model? Her. Who is that? That looks like a spatula man. Yeah, it's spatula woman. You're very oh. close. Well, she'd make a terrible Calvin Klein model because she's not one of the choices, Mike. Oh. Well, actually, no. I said anybody in the Fairly Odd Parents universe. You did. Never mind. You're right. You're right. Can I just say Cosmo? Yeah, I was just about to say Cosmo too. <laughs> I would. I would say Doug Dimmodome. Think about that. You can never get the hat in one picture. Oh, I'll True. make it work. You do realize that hat goes on forever, right? Nope. You literally see him like in the middle of a crane in like the old, uh, old like western town of uh, whatever the town they uh -huh. live in. I can't think of it off the top top of my head. And he like his ha his hat is literally going out to, to like the sky. His ha Doug Dimmodome's hat is infinite. So if <laughs> Doug Dimmodome was a Victoria's Secret model, would his wings go Ooh. on forever? Oh, good question, Travis. Good question. Yes. I would like I would to think say, so. It's just just I would, shy. I would like to say so too. Or if not, they would have to be like the size of the Earth or something. Something that's like bigger than the scope of just the town of Dimsdale. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I feel you. Yeah. Mike's too focused on beating a person with a spatula. That's because this not was even this was a little bit harder than I remembered for some reason. What is? I mean, it's not hard. It's just I died already. You died? <laughs> yeah. How did we not notice? He's died like a hundred times now. Oh, a hundred? I only counted a hundred. I only counted like seventy-five. I do appreciate 75. his willpower to still try. You know, it's fairly odd, parents, dude. This is not an easy game. Well, it's hard when you mix in SpongeBob with the fry cooks and whatnot. True. True. I'm just, just gonna saying. hide from you. She's blowing me kisses. She really likes me. Or she wants to kill you with the power of love. Did you she consent to, to touch... this? Did you consent to this? No, that's why I'm beating her up with my boomerang. Also, you're a miner, so this is not a good idea. That that's the other thing too. That is very true. Yeah, she thinks that it's okay, but no. T wait, do you actually? Okay, what? How do you even like beat this person? You throw a boomerang through, and then just go from there. Yeah, you throw a boomerang, then you run to the next box. This is very repetitive. Ten out of ten game. She keeps saying, "Do not resist me," either. So it is kind of. This is inappropriate. Ew, she has cooties. Get her away from him. Yeah, she's trying to spread her STDs. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's Pokemon. You right. gotta catch them all, right? Very uh, true. Absolutely. Mike, if you're an STD, which one would you be? Uh, Probably Chlamydia. Okay, cool. <laughs> that sounds it. That, there's no follow-up to that. <laughs> all right, then. I'd like to think that I I'm think... burpees. You might think you got rid of me, but I'll come back. <laughs> I just shoved my boomerang in her vagina. Hot. And Wanda's smiling. She's just like, ooh, me next. Yeah, she's like, I want to turn. <laughs> and Cosmo is just like, Cosmo doesn't even know what's going on. Wait think... a second. Doesn't what? Cosmo get pregnant? Yes. Yeah. How does that work out? Because they're How fairies. I haven't mentioned that yet. 
Because they're fairies, Nick. Yes, and the fairies, the guy gets pregnant. I've never heard um, that in anywhere but Fairly Odd Parents. They're like seahorses. Yeah, I was about to say that. They're like the middle seahorse. <laughs> I okay. really like it. This Crimson Chin is way better than the wobble normal baby, one. Wobble baby, wobble baby. The one where you can just see his like his uh, his pizza cut. Oh no, he turned into the buff one. This one's Bring ugly. Back the old one. I don't like this guy. Yeah. He seems fake. Aww. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh well. That was amazing. <laughs> it shows. It showed the transition. Uh, d December twenty fourth when you're ripped and whatnot, and then December twenty sixth after Christmas when he just got the gut. <laughs> <laughs> True that though. Basically, man. It's okay. His New Year's resolution, he will lose that weight. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gym once a week and try to lose 30 pounds by in three months. <laughs> and there's people who think that's fucking possible. It's not. <laughs> well, unless you just don't eat. Food is okay. for the week. It's true. Yeah, food is for the week. I only survive on water and the, uh, the blood of my enemies. Oh, yeah, I, I only eat the organs of the people that I kill. Oh well, I didn't say I killed them. I just said I drank their Wait, blood, Mike. But Mike, we, we you can you can go to a you can go to a blood center and drink their blood, Mike. It's just very unethical. But Mike, we made that deal saying that whoever of us dies first, the other one gets to eat them because we both <laughs> said that we're curious what human meat tastes like. We did. That's true. So if you only eat the meat of the people you killed, that means you're gonna kill me. Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Um, well, so Travis. Um, I am not sure if I'm going to be a witness in your trial, but, uh, good luck. But next time you hang out with Mike, you got to be very careful around the knives and around the forks. Oh, don't worry. I know not to cut toward myself. <laughs> That's a good thing. I'm saying when Mike's cutting his steak, because he might not be cutting steak, he might be cutting you. Oh, Nick, look um, at you. I would like to think that I'm a solid prime rib cut. <laughs> Is that the, is that Travis's steak of choice? A prime rib? Oh, it's so good, dude! I would go for like a New York strip steak. That stuff's so good. Yeah, I, I need steak really. I'm no, not I'm not well. a steak person. What kind of what's your meat of choice then, Mike? Uh, chicken. Chicken. Yeah. You healthy sob. Okay, so for a big holiday meal, do you guys prefer the big holiday ham or turkey? Turkey. Ooh, for me, I love the honey-baked ham. Honey-baked hams are so good. See, I'm, I'm with Mike that I'm a turkey person, but everyone else in my family is a ham person. Yeah, I so. feel like most people like ham, and I I mean, ham's not bad, but yeah. I like turkey more. I'm like, ham is just so, I don't know, every Well, I'll say this. <laughs> I'll say this. For Thanksgiving, when you have when you have turkey and cranberry sauce, like actual good cranberry sauce, mm -hmm. can't be beat. It's the best. But if we're talking just like direct like if you're talking about like like cooked ham versus cooked turkey no extra stuff on there ham ham all the way that's just my opinion though. yeah so if you're going to if you're going to get shit on me go ahead but at uh, least i'm honest about it all right come here nick time for you all to right, get cool. shit on oh sweet <laughs> cleveland steamer here i come <laughs> hey what was that yeah you guys know what that is sad was it no yeah, that's Cleveland Steamer. Yeah, I was trying to think of the other one. <laughs> I mean, the other ones that people know of is like the Alaskan Dildo, the Alabama Hot Pocket, stuff like that. Eskimo Pipeline. Yeah. I don't know what that, I don't know what that one is, but well, I don't think I want to know. Travis, you got to say it now. Okay, well, you, 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 you <laughs> poop in a condom, and then you put it in the freezer. Okay. And then that's you the Alaskan Dildo. I also know it's the Eskimo Pipeline. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Well, <laughs> that's another good one. <laughs> Did we get another star? Yeah. How many more stars do we need to get? Uh, like f a million. All right, cool. We're almost done. They didn't tell me the controls. I need to jump and grab this, but I'm scared because I don't know the controls. Do it. No balls. No balls. Oh, I died. Injure. <laughs> oh, wait. I, l I do like the special effects there. So, is this a GameCube game? Yes. It's pretty nice for a GameCube game. It is, isn't it? It is a very nice game. Yeah. So what do you want me to do, game? So tell uh, me what you want, buttons. what you really, really want. So tell me what I'll you tell want. tell you what I want, what you really, really want. Poof, poof. Hmm. 
I wanna, right. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna drink a set. You, you just gotta believe, like Parappa the Rapper. True. That was a legendary game. Yes, it was. It was my favorite, mm. it was my favorite novel. Thank get you, it? Nick. No, You're I don't welcome. get it. Okay, that's the, that's the point. Yeah, I confused Mike, everyone. Yeah, congratulations, dude. I did so good. Dude, maybe Cosmo's supposed to fly you over there. I, I see my face. It's not doing anything for me. Press the cross uh. the, the building button. Nope. Okay, we're going to call that an episode. Hurt. Dude, injure <laughs> and hurt. Yeah, dude, I'm getting it all today. No, oh, there we go. And, uh, and after two lives. Ouch, we're going to call it an episode. That's an episode.